Good evening ladies and gentlemen, Zere Linux Dev here again with another tutorial video and tonight's video is particularly interesting to me. It is something that I discovered while I was doing some research and trying to acquire a little bit of hardware to make my YouTube recordings uh, better for you guys. Um, so firstly let me mention that I have acquired a proper condenser microphone and audio interface and I hope that you guys can hear the difference that that's making. Um, then also during my research, I was also looking at webcams and uh, which webcam is the best and which webcam can I use to do some uh, proper YouTube recording. And um, well, I haven't acquired the webcam as yet, so I'm still busy using my laptop's webcam, unfortunately. Um, that will change in the future and as well as well, the scenery behind me. And um, yeah, things will get better from there. Um, but something interesting that I came across during my research is the following. So you'll notice that I have two video streams. So the bottom video stream that you're seeing right now, that is the webcam on my laptop. The top video stream that you guys are seeing right now, that is in fact a stream coming from bum, ba -da -bum, my Galaxy S8 smartphone. How cool is that? And uh, you would like to ask yourself, well, how does that work? Um, so there's a few things that, uh, that you need to do to get this up and running. But basically, it's all got to do with an application called DroidCam. Okay, so the few things that you need to do is you need to go to your Android store. Let me just uh, pick up my Galaxy Note 9 there. You need to go to your Android Play Store, Google, Google Play Store and um, search for droid cam droid cam right up top there um, then you can install that application and uh, you can open it up and um, that's basically it for the uh, for the application side of things on your mobile um, however there are a few other things that you need to do as well on your mobile device to get this thing working and uh, let me show you what those are so if you head into your settings menu right at the bottom you'll see a section called about phone um, go into that then go into the section called software information and uh, then there is a little build number tap on that seven times let me show you what that looks like and it's going to ask you for your pin let me just enter that and basically what it does is it enables developer mode you'll see that it says the developer mode has been enabled so if you go back out into your settings menu right at the bottom there's a new entry called developer options okay so what i want you to do is tap on that okay and make sure firstly that it's turned on up top um, then I want you to scroll down to a section called, not a section, but a menu option called USB debugging. What I want you to do is I want you to enable USB debugging. Um, it's going to give you a little pop-up. Just say, okay, that's cool. I don't mind. Um, the second thing that you want to do is if you scroll further down on the menu, there is a section called or a little item called USB configuration. Make sure that you set that to picture transfer protocol. So open it up. Um, there's the option called PTP, picture transfer protocol. Select that and you should be good to go. That's basically it from the Android side of things. You don't even need to root your phone to get this to work. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, now for the uh, desktop side of things, let me show you guys what that looks like. So... Firstly, um, let me open up a browser here. There we go. It's opened up the previous website that I visited already. And this is the website of the developer of this application. It's dev47apps.com. And it says here that DroidCam turns your Android device into a wireless webcam, letting you chat on Skype, Google Plus, and other programs. It also works with OBS, XSplit, etc. for streaming to Twitch or YouTube, which is what I'm doing right now. 
You can also use Droid Cam as an IP webcam or surveillance camera via internet browser functionality or virtually on all networks. Use it as simply as a simple pet cam, a spy cam, or a security camera. Um, I have played around with the uh, with the browser version or the the browser functionality. I find it to be a little bit laggy, um, but it is there and it does work. Um, so if you don't want to use this for recording proper video on something like OBS or uh, XSplit or something, uh, you just want to do some basic surveillance, you can do that via IP as well. So just be aware of that. Um, so without further ado, let me show you how to get this installed on your system. Um, let me just uh, start up a terminal session. Okay. Uh, cool. So first things first, because I am on Manjaro Linux, which is based off of the Arch uh, distribution, I use Yaourt to install Droid Cam. So you're going to run Yaourt Droid Cam. Uh, and you'll choose the first option and it will install. I'm not going to do that. I've already done that, obviously. Um, if you are on uh, Debian based distros such as Ubuntu or Linux Mint, you'll go sudo apt install, not install, install Droid Cam. And then you'll also get the software downloaded and installed. Then there is something else that I needed to do on AUR or on Arch or Manjaro rather. Um, I needed to do the following I had to create a little script. Um, that basically just injected the um, drivers or the various bits for this um, application into my um, uh, into my kernel and this is what it looks like I'm gonna leave you guys a link in the description this is also off of the droid cam website you guys can just go copy and paste this um, it's a pretty cool little script that the guys wrote there um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail there um, that's cool. But anyway, so what you what you need to do, just make sure that once you've done that, uh, the script and you've saved it, that you do a uh, chmod uh, plus x. This is to make it executable on Droid Cam. And just, yeah, that will make it executable for you guys. I don't really care because I've already done that. Then you can run Droid Cam as a dot forward slash Droid Cam um, in the root directory of where you saved the script and that will then enable the bits in your kernel like we said um, what you need to do after this then is let me show you guys the moment of truth you will run droid cam and you'll notice that there are various ways of actually accessing the camera um, you can do it via wi-fi i just want to make sure i think i've got it running here already so i'm just going to disconnect um, you can access via Wi-Fi, you can access, or you could create a server here, or you could, this is what we want to do. We want to run it over USB, right? Um, so if you enable, let me just, let me just add a camera here for you guys so that you guys can see, uh, the, the, uh, the functionality actually appearing as and when it's needed i don't think that is the right camera that is the webcam sorry about that let me add ha there we go um so as soon as i click connect here <laughs> well what do you know it's streaming and uh, that's running over usb obviously i plugged in the uh, galaxy uh, s8 into a usb port on my laptop and we've got a few features here at the bottom where you could uh, do an autofocus. So if I bring my finger close to the camera and I do a control A, it should actually focus on my finger, which it's not doing, but it definitely works with another mobile phone. I know that, let's show you. There we go. So we focused on the phone and now we're back on my face. Um, we could also turn on the LED flashlight, which is something that uh, obviously is going to be pretty useful. And you can zoom in and out with the, on your uh, number row, there's a plus key and there's a minus key. Uh, you can zoom in and out using that. So anyway, 
that is droid cam in a nutshell um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys find it useful and to all you guys out there streaming and to all you guys out there running Linux and sticking it to the man um, I wish you all the best um, this is uh, ZA Linux dev signing out by the way before I do that remember to click subscribe <laughs> and the bell icon and as well as the thumbs up button if you like this video this is ZA Linux dev Signing out. Have a good day.